Episode 2, The Obscure Night The silence could make one's hair stand on end without the blaring lights and hustle and bustle of the city. Soon after, she heard the sound of an engine running in the distance, becoming louder as it got closer. A vehicle came to a halt in front of the villa, and its engine was turned off. Her normally calm heart tightened as she felt an unprecedented anxiousness and restlessness at that moment. She couldn't keep herself cool as the footsteps walking up the stairs became louder as they got closer. She was feeling uneasy. The door flung open. Along with the sound of steady footsteps, Monica could sense that someone had come in and stopped by her bedside. She was absolutely nervous by now and promptly sat up on the bed. He's here. Is it my employer? She was on tenor hooks when one side of the bed slightly dipped, a clear indication that someone had sat on it. Monica, who was feeling perturbed, leaned her back against the wall for support. She felt awkward and was glad that in front of her was stifling darkness. She could only barely make out a towering figure before her, yet her heart still beat with helplessness. Although she could not see his face, somehow she was able to sense his strong, overwhelming presence, especially his cold line of sight. He had the air of aggressiveness, unique to a ruler, as if he were a noble, arrogant overlord. As for her, she was just like a tribute brought to him in ancient times. Monica opened her mouth and spoke in a somewhat vague manner. You? Who are you? The man remained mum. He moved his body and slightly bent forward, leaning closer toward her. Monica could only feel his looming presence getting nearer. Immediately, the imposing figure pressed down on her and completely imprisoned her under his body. Her body shook from the effort of withstanding his body weight. She curled into a ball, and then she was no longer able to move. She nervously held her hands before her chest. She was nearly suffocating. Not waiting for her to react, the man narrowed his eyes and pulled her clothes straight up. Her soft, milky white skin was exposed to the air. Suddenly, his large hands delved in. Wait! She exclaimed with a trembling voice. May I take a look at you? Why? His youthful yet deep voice was akin to red wine, rich and mellow. It was a husky voice that could draw people in. I can't see anything. I'm scared. He scoffed and with an extremely deep voice said, You don't have to look and you don't have to be scared. The girl's delicate body had yet to develop fully. She was still so pure and her slender waist could easily be held in his one hand. His icy fingers rubbed her lips harshly and played around with them nonstop. Just close your eyes. How delightful the tender touch was, just like silk. His fingertips were a little moist and chilly, and when they came into contact with her warm skin, she could not help but shrink a little. The darkness in front of her eyes made her more afraid. His thin lips left her body. He apparently thought that her one piece was in the way, since he tore it apart in the next second. His near-violent moves made Monica stiffen. She dared not to move recklessly. Her heart beat thunderously in her chest. It was as if her heartbeats were trying to escape from her throat. Shame, panic, fear. With all these emotions weighing on her, she could hardly breathe. It was at that moment that she started to regret her decision. She initially thought that she could do it. It was just bearing a child for him, after all. She might have no experience, but as a woman... This was something she would come across sooner or later. However, facing this unknown yet domineering man, she lost all the courage she had at the start. Right now, she only felt utter fear. She had just become an adult and had not experienced any form of intimacy yet. She had never even held a boy's hand in her entire life. Naturally, her heart was unwilling. Still, she was able to resist his invasion. Under his provocation... She slowly opened up like the flower buds under the morning sun. He lowered his head and, ignoring her uneasiness and fear, brushed his thin lips past her jawline, making her tremble profusely. Her body became more sensitive to his invasion. Monica's breathing became ragged. Unconsciously, she reached out and grasped his large hands to try and stop his invasion. The man seemed to have perceived her thoughts. Grabbing her hands, he tied them up with ease and lifted them high above her head. She was even more frightened. Her heart was constantly resisting, but it was to no avail. Her entire body trembled from utter fear, yet she had no way to refuse him. Monica shrunk her shoulders in an attempt to dodge him, but little did she know 
that the unintentional contact made the man's body temperature rise and become scalding hot. The man sucked in a breath of cold air. He actually almost went out of control. This girl was truly very attractive. He could not believe that he nearly lost himself. Monica was shocked at the overly intimate move and tried to shrivel her shoulders further. She instinctively pushed him away. Don't. He ignored her little resistance. Monica exclaimed, subconsciously squirming around. She incessantly pushed his chest away. However, he merely grabbed her wrists tightly. To prevent her from resisting any longer, he took off the last thing in his way. Monica was breathless when she realized what was about to happen. She tried to refuse his touch as her body continuously sank. How she wished she could hide away in a world where he could not enter. His dominance seemed to have scared her really badly. No, don't. Don't? Stephen Lewis felt dissatisfied with her resistance. He slowly raised his eyes and held her chin with his hand. Under the dim moonlight, his eyes dropped down to look at her bashful face. He asked coldly, What? You don't want this? Monica tensed up and pursed her lips. He squinted his eyes and mercilessly rubbed her lips with his thumb. Woman, you know what you have to do by coming here, right? Her expression suddenly hardened as her body continuously quivered. She was uncertain whether it was because of the pain or fear of his callousness. Staying silent for a long time, her almost hoarse voice let out broken sobs. I know. Then, do you still need me to tell you what to do? His straight eyebrows twitched as his ice-cold voice asked this. Monica bit her lower lip hard as her eyes welled up. She then felt a string of moisture flowing into the slit of her lips, and her mouth was filled with the taste of bitterness. She knew that they were just going by the contract. They were not in a relationship with each other, so any form of intimacy was established by the contract and nothing else. Still, no matter what, she was not going to bear with this humiliation. Stefan gave her a cold smirk. He was not intending to give her any more time to get used to him. Binding her hands, he shoved them to the top of her head. The corners of his mouth curled into a nearly cruel smile. Your mouth, open it. Monica's facial expression gradually went numb. She then slowly shut her eyes in despair. Her arms circled his shoulders with difficulty as she buried her face into his neck. At that moment, she knew that she had already crossed over into the depths of sin. The man was satisfied with her surrender and abruptly delved in at one fell swoop. Breaking that layer of the boundary was such a vivid sensation. Gritting her teeth, Monica endured. Her voice was hoarse. She inhaled in the cool air as she tried to withstand the excruciating pain. Her body became as stiff as a stone and was no longer able to move. It was a jet of something unfamiliar and strange, as if it was ripping her apart. In that instant, her vision almost went black, and she nearly passed out from the pain. His everything was too much for her to withstand.